centrifuge. Centrifuge is um, a company uh, that belongs to the Spanish state that is taking care of technology in Spain. Um, he works in, in uh, and Antonio is going to say more about uh, his company and his organization, how it fits within the tourism Spain. Yeah? Yeah. Thank you, Richard. Uh, good afternoon. Um, I'm glad to be here because I'm um, a good friend of Richard. And I wanted to hear what Portsmouth has to say about smart destinations. I've learned a lot this afternoon, so I'm really glad to be here. Well, um, Sekitu is a small company, state owned company. Uh, we are 70 people and we focus on innovation and new technologies in the tourism sector. We support public and private sector, so they, they have to innovate in the way they do things and they have to integrate new technologies so they can be more efficient. Basically, I would like to start about Spain. Spain is a leading destination. We had last year 65 million tourists, but the most important thing, we had 108 million visitors in Spain, which is a lot of people rolling around the country for one year. We make a lot of money on them. So it's, um, we are second worldwide after the United States. So we, we are doing it right, the right way, let's say. It's not that bad. And it means 12% of the employment of the country, so you can imagine how important it is. And uh, it's the level of our GDP, so it's the best or it's the most important industry nowadays in Spain. And as well, we are the first in, uh, in Europe and the third in the world in natural uh, areas protected, and um, we are the third in the world in UNESCO uh, heritage uh, sites. So we have we are a successful business case, but in 2012 when I joined Secutur, I knew that we have to change. We have to do something. Why? Because the world was changing and very rapidly. We are very hyper connected. We our tourists nowadays are very well informed, multi challenging demanding. We need information, we need information in real time, we are demanding information all the time, before coming, during the stay and after the stay. So we had to adapt Spain to this new digital area. This new digital economy or this new digital tourist or digital traveler. So we started to work on that. I convinced uh, the minister to do it, so we included it in the strategic plan of, of Spain, tourist, tourist plan from 2012 to 2015. This year is the last one. We plan for actions, concrete actions to, to move Spain into, the new, into this new uh, digital era, new smart destinations era. So the first thing we do is created a group of uh, public and private people, around 108 80 people, coming from universities, from local governments, from regional governments, from research centers, and from huge companies, SMEs, from um, normal people, from NGOs, civil society. And we create this group so we can visualize, we, we, we can create or co-create what we want to, to make in Spain as a smart destination. Uh, we are now creating our first norm because it's like uh, of a route map for all the local authorities to become a smart destination. And it's going to be the first norm in the world about smart destination. It's going to be published in September. And the European Union has already asked us to help them to, to publish or to create the, the norm, the European norm. And even the international standard organization has asked has asked us to, to, to help them to, to do it in, in the, the ESO smart destination. The first thing we do in this group was 
the definition of what smart destination is, because we don't know, we didn't know. So this is the, 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 the definition. It's quite long, but it has everything we, we, we thought it has to have. An innovative tourist destination built on an infrastructure of state-of-the-art technology, guaranteeing the sustainable development of tourist areas, accessible to everyone, which facilitates the visitor's interaction with an integration integration into his or her surroundings, increases the quality of, of experience at the destination, and improve the person's quality of life. So it's quite long, but it has almost all we wanted to, to have. We have innovation, which is this, uh, the big one. We have technology, we have sustainability, and we have accessibility. And basically, what we are getting with this is enhance tourist experience in Spain through these applications, through this technology, through this innovation, improve competitiveness of the companies and of also of the destinations, and improving sorry, uh, improving the quality of life of residents. Uh, it has to be somewhere up here. Okay, something happened. Because resident has to be in the focus, otherwise um, we have a problem. Like in Barcelona, as you may have heard, Barcelona is getting uh, around 6 million tourists per year, but they get um, around 17 million visitors per, per year. So the city is collapsed. So they need to develop technology so they can manage this huge amount of people crawling around the city. So this is something that we have to take into account every time we develop something regarding tourism. We have to take into account the resident. So technology, we are working on this. It's kind of infography, so we can see that we are working on things. We have, we have heard something today. We are talking about the web, we are talking about Twitter, we are talking about, about social media. We are talking about Internet of Things. Sensorize, sensorizing the, the cities and the destinations. We're talking about big data. We're talking about open data. So we are to, we're creating a smart tourism system. We are creating, using all the structured data that we have in the market, but also uh, non-structured data that come from today, the data from the telecommunications company, like the Telefonica from the banks, from the other companies. So we have the Visa cards uh, monitored. We have the other uh, data from uh, companies that are controlling hotels. And we are using all the data from the web. So we are getting to something like this. It's like um, different maps of Spain. That one is Barcelona regarding the expenses of the tourist and this regarding the using of the different uh, connection connectivity that are in the territory. You can see here the flow of tourists in the inland. This is the way to Madrid. This is the way to the Mediterranean coast. And this is the way to Andorra. So you can, and this is the way to France. You can check absolutely all the movement of the, of the tourists on the territory. And this is what we, we, we are talking about Barcelona and how they check, they monitor the tourists, the Russian tourists that came from the cruises, and that is how they spend money. And the uh, you can see the, this color is the, the points where they spend more money than the others. And we are controlling all these data in a very anonymous way. We don't know, we don't want to know the, their names. We want to know who they are. I mean, from the, the country where they come. The, age, the range of age, the sex, the gender, so we can get information and we can uh, we can develop the best CRM we can have ever thought of before. We talk about sustainability, not only in the environment, we are talking about the local communities, the local culture, the local commerce, etc. We are talking about accessibility, this is not only for uh, social purposes, 
because uh, in Europe we have around um, 100 million people which need any kind of uh, facility and these people always travel with uh, a companion so we are talking about two, uh, 200 million people traveling in Europe which needs, who needs this kind of, uh, of facilities so we have to, to be prepared for them and we talk about innovation because uh, every, day, every day we have to think how we have to do the things in a better way every time we, every time we have to, to think how can be more creative, how can we institutions can do the better, a better thing, a better promotion, a better commercialization of our destination. The companies have to think how they can do better and offer a better experience to their clients. So innovation is, is a very important part of everything regarding smart destinations. And how, how do we do this? We start with uh, an audit and diagnosis and action plan in the destinations. We control the four main uh, areas, I mean technology, uh, sustainability, innovation and accessibility. So we, um, we see how they are and we see what they need to become a an, an smart destination. We plan, we, we design an action plan and the destination design their own uh, we call it plan director, director plan. So they choose which are their main preferences when they want to start to, to, become, to become a smart destination. Um, we always say that this is a PPP partnership, this is private public public, public partnership. Everything that we do, we do it with the private sector, with, with the public sector, sector, and with the civil society. Because Tourism is something that, um, that is uh, important for all, for all, all of us, impact in our society. So all, uh, all of us has to be there. Um, from the public side, infrastructure, regulation, security, promotion. But from the private side, transport, hospitality, gastronomy, and all other resources has to be prepared to be smart as the public side. Um, Very slow. Okay. And we always talk about a cross action plan because tourism takes everything, impact on everything. It's economy, it's uh, security, it's culture, it's health, uh, energy. So when we, when we design a plan of foreign smart destination, we are always considering all the different aspects of society. So we are doing things. Uh, okay, we are doing things on uh, marine, on energy saving and water saving and recycling, using um, solar energy, biomass, not only in hotels but also in public, spa in public spaces. Um, we are uh, working um, now fast. Okay, <laughs> we are working also in in the management of uh, mobility. Okay, yeah. Intermodality, so uh, imagine that a uh, person, a tourist that comes to Spain, uh, take all the different um, uh, tickets, uh, boarding pass in their mobile phone since they left, they leave his house or her house in London, even with the metro station, the train, the, 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 uh, the, uh, the plane, the train in Spain, the bus in Spain, the red car in Spain, the boat in Spain. So they have everything in just one only one by boarding pass from the beginning until, until the end of their trip. So we are working on that in Spain. We are trying to control the, the flow, the, the flow of tourists in the territory. This picture is a, it's a real picture in Barcelona where you can see that the streets are full, there are people waiting during the queue for entering in the Picasso Museum and there, there is no left space for the others. So it's a very dramatic situation that we have to, to, to work on that. We are supporting the private sector also. We are supporting the augmented reality and developments. We have uh, supported them in the video guides, uh, the um, full immersion through, through the Oculus, all this uh, stuff, uh, which is 
quite uh, amazing. And we are working with all the different uh, companies trying to, to get this open data philosophy so we can all get to the data. Open data doesn't mean free data. So we are trying to explain to companies that they have to open the data and they can get money from them. So there are some companies that now are thinking about it and starting to open the data so they can have a kind of new business unit for that, like the telecom companies, the banks, or the VAT devolution companies, which are making money about all of that. We are designing the new um, inform tourist information office because it's going to be really digital. We are talking about the digital information management system, so people can get there and have a lot of uh, different things, so the touch screens, so they can get information, they can download the application that, they, that allows them to enjoy the destination in the proper way. And we have developed 14 different projects, five projects in Spain, so we can learn by doing it, which is something that we, we thought we had to do. We started with El Hierro Island in El Hierro Island, which is a tiny Canary Island. I come from, from there, from the Canary Island. And El Hierro Island um, has now a um, free Wi-Fi network with a wide wi network, so tourists can connect free in all the, the island. And it's, must, it's funny because they check every single point, hot, uh, hot spot. So they are they're seeing part of the island that they, they never saw before. And um, we, with the WIMAX um, network where we can censor the island, so we can get information in real time about what's going on in the island. There, they have uh, applications. We have developed the first other wind power station in the world. This hydrogen power station uh, makes um, of uh, El Hierro one of the, the first free emissions area uh, in the world. Uh, it was because of the impact of tourists in the area. And um, we are supporting companies and we are giving them loans and so on so they can follow us. In Palma Mallorca nowadays they have the largest um, area of free Wi-Fi in Europe in Playa de Palma, they have developed several tourism apps where that they use to get information from tourists so they can they have developed a, a customer mobile experience platform so they can monitor tourists and they can know in an anonymous, anonymous way what do you do, what do you like, what do you don't like because the, the applications <coughs> allow them the tourists to plan their trip. So the, the, the manager of the destination know beforehand what the, the tourists are going to do the following day or the following days. So they can get prepared in the museums, in the restaurants, in every single part of the, of the city. They, have, they are now developing the business intelligent, intelligent platform, so they are sharing this information with the private sector, so the private sector can develop new products and new services, digital products, digital services, to offer to tourists. And uh, we are also supporting companies with training and soft loans. In Las Palmas, we are trying to control the impact of around two million and a half tourists that are not in the city. They come from the cruises and they come from the south of the island. So we are trying to control the, the flow of the tourists in the city. And we are using the technology of the iBeacons, so uh, we are trying to, to test this technology in order to, to improve the shopping tourism. And on the other side, uh, as we know that the, the cycle of tourism is before, during, and after, before we have created a new version of our web page, it's spain.info, and uh, it's a 2012 version. And we create a very brand new one in order to get information from tourists when they sail in the, the web page. And we have changed because you not you can only not inspiration, you get inspiration, but you can book your trip to Spain. You can book the transport, you can book the hotel, and you can also book the experiences and activities you want to do there. 
It's one of the main uh, things that we have done in Spain in this period because it's a public and private partnership, one of the main that we have done. We have given the leading role to the SMEs. They offer us a hyper segmentation of our offer to tourists. Very differentiated one, non seasonal from the 1st of January to the 31st of December. You can find things to do in Spain and very innovative and very competitive. So, this is the, the, the solution, this is the, the results. We have, like, we have get, got a massive digital, digitalization of the tourism resource in Spain which is great because now very SMEs, very small companies and even people that want to develop tourism resources, uh, tourism products and services all around Spain has now the chance to publish this, his product or her product directly in the web page for free and they can sell it for free there to any tourist all around the world. So um, this is a uh, Functionally, uh, the, the results are really, really good. Now we have more than 4,000 um, um, uh, experiences and activities, and around 1,000 companies already linked to this to this um, web page. And regarding applications, it's very, very important that to have applications linked to the territory because it covers. Three needs. The basic needs: mobility, information, and geolocation. We developed this platform in 2012 because we had no no Dutch map, no Dutch applications in Spain at the time. We were talking about two years and a half, but it's like an area. And now we have uh, Spain apps. We can develop in a very efficient way different apps like. Um, the uh, video guides uh, or destination guides and natural guides, guides um, family guides, so people can download the application they need to enjoy Spain. And the most important thing that we did in 2012 was this, was telling to any developer in Spain that if they want to build up an application, mobile application for tourism, they have to be like this, geolocated uh, resources, no roaming, they have to, to, to be able to co-create the application with the tourists so to, they have to let the user generate the content <coughs> in the application connected to, with the social media, with Twitter, Facebook and so on. Uh, sometimes we can use the gaming to, to have a better or more in-depth uh, experience with the destination. Of course accessible to anyone, which allows the booking and payment of the different activities and experiences, and which is which can be um, can be used to monitor the tourists while they are in the territory, like this. This is um, a result of what we have done with our application, thanks to an agreement with Citaguni, which is a research center in in the Basque Country, and this is, for instance, oh sorry, this. This is, for instance, uh, the um, application for the World Sailing, um, uh, World Sailing Festival in Santander last year. We, we did the, the application. This is the, here you can see the downloads. This was because uh, we organized a marketing event uh, for this event in, in, in Paris. So after the event, we had a huge amount of downloads of the application in France. And this is how the application works on the territory. You can see how people, this heat map, you can see how people move in the city, and this is in real time, so the manager of the destination can check why people, are, why people are in this area and not in this area, so they can send information about this area, so people, you can cheer people to go to other places in the city. So it has um, a huge, uh, huge amount of information of data that they can manage and they can act in real time so they can give experience, a better experience to the tourists and, and, and get the best from them. 
This is uh, something that we have also do. It's, uh, it's called Spain Collection. As we know, that it's quite difficult to find applications when you are in Spain, and because it's not that easy in the shops to find them, we create this application that mainly takes all the applications related to regarding Spain, products on service, tourist service in Spain, and we have ordered here so you can find them very easily. And this is in the webpage in Spain.info, and there is also a uh, single and independent application. So people can easily find applications to enjoy their experience, their trips, their holidays in Spain. But to do this, we have to we have to to support SMEs. We have to support companies. So in 2012, we create a line finance line called Emprendetur. And now we have more than 200 companies uh, in this line, and we have given more than four, uh, four, uh, 40 million euros in price, in innovative projects regarding tourism. And as well, we have organized a, what we call Impulsa Tourism Network, and we have we have put in common the investors, the banks. Um, the corporations with the entrepreneurs and the innovative companies so they can work together and they are creating an ecosystem so the people who have money put money on the right projects and the right projects are now developing in Spain. I think this is all I have. Uh, this is my credo, my paradigma is innovation and creativity always. And I have a video to show you how we see the experience of the uh, tourists when they when they fly when, when they are in a smart tourist destination. because my mother used to ask me, well, my son, what do you do in life? And I don't know how to explain it. So we did this. Uh, my last holiday started in front of my computer screen. Maria told me where to eat, and Jorge shared with me the places he thought I shouldn't miss. I planned my trip in detail, and then I started packing. When I got to my destination, I was still connected, and I could fit the whole tourist offer in my pocket. In the shops I found a mixture of local people and tourists like me. Antonio, a really friendly shopkeeper, told me that visits like mine help improve the economy and preserve the local traditions. I really enjoyed the food, traditional but with an innovative touch I loved. Manuel, the chef, told me everything they served in the restaurant was produced locally, and when searching for experiences I came across some I had never seen before in similar destinations and I could take the best route to get wherever I wanted. Other tourists got to the same places just as easily and enjoyed everything just as I did. I was surprised to see that the destination interacted with tourists and locals alike and adapted to the needs of both. Didn't I tell you where I spent my holiday? I went to a smart tourist destination. To, for the locals to invest in the development of the projects. 
I told um, John, John uh, that uh, we are now waiting for the next uh, framework, uh, framework uh, European framework, 2014-2020, because um, it, it focuses on um, innovation and technology. And this is all about innovation and technology. So we are. We hope that in, in January, that uh, I hope that they will start operating with the new uh, framework. We can get money from the European Union to change not only Spain, but I mean the whole Europe into a smart destination. Any more? I hope we're going to do some nice European projects where we can bring. Um, Stay in region C and some regions together to so do some nice things. Thank you very much, guys. We'll break here for coffee and cake.